here is an Arvin model 417 radio. And let's see if I can... Okay, there's the maker's information. I'm not sure exactly when this dates from. I'm thinking sometime in the 1930s. It's got four tubes, and it's a conventional super heterodyne circuit. But it's got a, a tube that serves both as the IF amplifier, detector, and first audio stage. And it's got... There's the output tube, the 80 rectifier, and the converter tube. I'll, I'll show the tubes off more later when I get it turned around, but I just wanted to demonstrate the performance of it now. Put all new capacitors in it. This was one that had a lot of bad uh, soldering in it. For some reason, almost all the capacitors looked like original capacitors that had been removed and then put back in the circuit, but with really bad soldering for some reason. So I don't know why the capacitors just weren't replaced. They because they were marked with uh, with Arvin on them. So I don't know why that was, but I tried to do a better soldering job then on everything when I replaced all the caps. And I used a resistor in place of the field coil speaker. Here's the field coil speaker, but it's just completely falling apart. So I measured the field resistance and used a resistor. For heavier duty equipment where the, the uh, field coil serves as a choke, I, I like to use a filter choke, an actual uh, iron core choke, but since this is pretty pretty light duty I thought, well, a resistor would probably work just as well, and that's what more modern small radios of this type would have used anyway. So now let me plug it in here and I can demonstrate it. The volume control does not seem to work except in the full-on position, so I have to check that out. And I've got an alligator clip lead clipped to the grid of the converter tube. There may be a problem with the antenna coil, because I got better reception when going right into the into the grid. And I had to the audio output transformer that was with it is bad. It's, it's got an open winding in the primary. Or it's got a partially open winding. So here's the tuning dial. Confederate Lightroom plates in Texas. You know, there's about 150 different uh, interest groups that can get, you know, a specialty license plate in Texas. And uh, I think they passed in the legislature, you know, that this is going to proceed forward. That Volunteer. This is the first time I've, I've made a donation to Catholic Radio, to World Liquor Radio, and, and let us know because it gets us going. <laughs> Collegiate Institute for the Deaf will now be able to continue their education after agreement between the school and the Gaudet University. The agreement allows students to transfer academic credits, credits from SWCID to the four-year program at Gallaudet. SWCID hopes the agreement will encourage as many students as possible to complete their... That's 550 at there. SWCID. For some reason it's picking up an image of the 1510 station here. DC is the only university in the world in which programs and services are specifically designed to serve the deaf and hard of hearing population. And this may come as a surprise, but it is the season for bad driving conditions, according to TechSot. So what should you do when you encounter a dust storm, heavy rain, or even smoke from a wildfire? Gene Powell with TechSot says, whatever you do, do not stop in the middle of the road. If you feel like you cannot drive, pull over. So there's a test of the Arvin radio. I'm going to try and get a, a new speaker to mount in there. It looks like the speaker originally mounted to the cabinet, but it was just 
kind of banging around in there loose when I got it. And we need to fix the volume control. And the reception is, is not awful, but it's not as strong as I might like. But probably it could have weak tubes too. But it's it's it receives local stations decently. But I've this tube tester will test those old time tubes. It's got those those sockets because this uses all the old fashioned style sockets like the seven pin and the, the four pin and so on. So I'll try and make some more videos showing the progress of the uh, Arvin radio. I might see if I can find a another output transformer or just test one and see if I can get a little more bass out of it. This one's a pretty a pretty small one but I guess it's about the same as the original.